Holy shit. It's finally working, guys. <laughs> All right. Stream is starting. The lineup for today has been Fiction, Destro, and Rusted Tin Man. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for have, being here. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, starting the lineup for today. Oh, shit. I have my volume on. All right. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, we're all new streamers. This is Noobcast. Welcome to the show, viewers. It is time to start this shit. So, let's start with Fiction. Fiction, how have you been, man? I'm awesome, as always. As always. What do you... Uh, always. How have you been streaming? Like, when did you start? How long have I you been started, in the game? I started uh, less than two weeks ago. Uh, I started on a, like, the Sunday before last. Two weeks? That's... Not that far, man. How many followers yeah. are you at right now? I'm sitting at 19. Uh, the 20 dream is alive. Uh, right, I hit it. 20 dream so real. Yeah, that so 20 real. dream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, that's a good... That's not bad, though. The 20 dream? I It took me yeah. forever to get to 20 followers. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys. I mean, let's see. How many followers do you guys have? Rustin, I know you've had some issues this week. Oh, my so. God. I absolutely hate pog right now because they sent me a new capture card because i have the colossus after the other one started fucking up on me and then all of a sudden this one doesn't work either so it's like really guys come on now yeah so and i have 15 followers right now dang and you uh, man i am at 14 i believe let's see let me make sure 12 sorry i lied 12 but everyone's new here let's say like one to two weeks in i don't know about you guys but it took me like three weeks to break 15 Wow. Like I shit you not, three weeks to break fifteen, and then I got uh, I got up to forty seven, and I was at forty seven for a month. I couldn't reach the fifty dream. I um, I I was just trolling around on Reddit. I was just went hardcore at Reddit and uh, all the forums for absolutely everything one day, and I went from uh eight followers to that said fifteen without actually being online. So, but then those pe same people did actually come in. So it proves the fact that you really have to have a good social media game in the uh, oh, yeah. streaming oh, community. Definitely. Well, I mean, like, I've met all of you guys through Reddit, actually. And, I mean, I stopped by Fiction's channel all the time. I would have stopped by your channel all the time, Russ, but you were never on because of the capture card. Uh -huh. And I just found out about Destro. I'll be stopping by there for sure. I love uh, the smaller streams to me have more character. Like, yeah. it's it's easier to chat with uh, the people that are watching your games, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and they actually chat. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know, it's like, when you go into... That's my biggest worry, though. Like, let's say we make it big. I don't want to be calm like Larrick, who's 20, 30,000 people. He got up to 60,000 people in ARC. How are you going to respond to what? chat? Yeah, no, he had 68,000 people watching him play ARC. Like, I yeah, love Larrick, but... Then he runs one ad and makes... Couple hundred dollars. Make and that's great though for his viewers <laughs> too. Actually, he doesn't yeah. run ads, does he? I don't know. Ads are pretty much uh, out of favor now because I mean, like the streamers don't make a ton of money, and it just pisses off your like your clientele, like your viewers. So I mean, like yeah. donations or and subs are just way better. Like I mean, yeah. running ads is just a terrible thing to do now. Well, I mean, actually, let's let's lead into our first point with that then. So advertisements, since we can't control them right now, but we might be able to. What do you think yeah. running an ad like, all right, so you get up to go to the bathroom, grab a drink, run an ad then, or would you do it on a timer? Because I know a lot of League of Legends players do it on timers. So. I don't like the, the timer deal because if you're there long enough, you're going to know when they're coming and then you're just going to get up and go do something else. Okay. I think it's important to actually have something on standby, like a, even a highlight stream, if you really need to go take a piss or something like that, where I yeah. at least have music playing in the background or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I, you know, the thing is, especially when you first get the ability to do ads, I mean, it's not like you're making a ton of money. Like, you're going to be making a few dollars. So if that's the case um, and people are going to leave my stream because of ads, I would rather just play music while I get up and get water or something. I mean, again, I... In my opinion, ads are just not worth it in, in, the, in the Twitch ecosystem right now. Uh, they're just not friendly enough. Well, um, I mean, even with that um, ad block, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I use ad block. I normally disable it on channels just because I know it supports the streamers. Um, but that's, that's a rough thing to deal with. That, that favors your point dramatically. You know what I mean? 
If you, people are running ad block, now you're running this ad. No one's even watching it. You know? Yep. So now it's just a waste of time. So when you look at, like, revenue and everything, I think you're right. Running ads would be completely irrelevant. You know what they need to do? And I don't know about you guys, but I used to watch a lot of Seinfeld. <laughs> and obviously there was commercials in between each little segment. But in Seinfeld, Seinfeld, they did a very – it was genius, actually, because what they did for a lot of the marketing – is they place the products directly, ex- directly <laughs> into the background, like uh, Matt the Bear heck? is like, oh look, GI Joe, exactly yeah. like that, something like that, or like, oh look at me drinking Monster, which is behind me now, damn. But that's how you have to really approach the marketing. You have to have an I got the you to develop a relationship. And regrets. Like, uh, product mark. I mean, Cutie Pie's doing something <laughs> like that actually. I don't know if any of you watch a uh, Cutie Pie stream, but um, he does. Yeah, what's it called? It's something to better league uh, players. And it's like, you pay monthly, they train you, things like that. And he'll be like, look guys, I just fed like a noob. This is what would have happened if any actually does it. It's not a commercial, it's not an ad. Like, he actually goes out there and shows the product. And that but, might work. You know, we had we had to talk a little bit while we were waiting to set this up about um, sponsoring games and stuff. And uh, those, ad, like, Twitch-based ads are not nearly as good as actually having... You know, sponsorships and talking to the actual people that are like you see a lot on streamers, um, uh, the I buy power and I, it, gaming PCs like those are advertised often on streamers uh, d- details and on their stream itself. I mean, yeah. that those kinds of advertisements are more beneficial to the streamer and the audience compared to what random stuff that you're going to get from Twitch. I mean, yeah, so yeah, let's go away from the topic of something that honestly we're speculating on right now um in your opinion guys first when you're streaming you know we have to come up with some sort of title and there's normally like three types of titles i've seen the ones that bait you in the ones that say hey i have a giveaway which i'm guilty of using i mean that's marketing and then you just have these random ass titles like you'll log into one game and he'll be like look at this rock and i don't know why i'll click on it because I just want to know what the hell he's talking about. So when you're starting up your stream, what type of stream titles are you using? Uh, personally, I go with the, right now, I'll go with the randoms. Uh, when I get to the point where I can, you know, get keys and have giveaways, I will advertise that, hey, I have a giveaway coming up. Uh, get in here and uh, for your chance Prom- to win. You were promised cleavage? I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 so I mean, like the past couple nights uh, I've been advertised uh, like my stream name has been like assassin leveling for my store uh, my Star Wars streams and then like after that I'll put like pants off dance off and then at some point in the night I'll turn on some dance music and take my character's pants off and have pants off dance off <laughs> nice you sure you can't get banned for that I'm pretty sure I'm good <laughs> Yeah, it's Unless it's rust. Game. Possibly, though, if it's rust, that, that's debatable because uh, that's that's full frontal right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Got to do the windmill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been... oh, that's God. that's directly out of the early 2000s right there. Oh, God. Yeah. Flash that up on the screen somehow. <laughs> Link going to it. It's like yeah. the dildo copter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I got a good one on this. Is that the <coughs> title, though, for your stream? Louis C.K. said it perfectly, the comedian. He said it perfectly. Okay. He has no reason to be up in front of all those people. Absolutely no reason. It's like trying to talk to that girl at the bar. The first thing you're going to say is absolute dog shit. Because <laughs> in oh, reality, God. this is what you want to do. You're like, I just want to fucking win. And it's like, that's it. That's all you really want to do. In, in the end, it's like, oh, you're pretty, so therefore I want to say something to you. Fecal matter cock, welcome. What terrible. the hell? I think we just have someone who enjoys anal in a roundabout way. Fecal <laughs> matter cock. What? Yeah. That name, man. Welcome to the noob cast, but I'm worried about you. All right, sorry. Continue, Rust. <laughs> I like uh, this guy. <laughs> uh, our type of guy. <laughs> So, what about you, uh, Destro? Have you been doing witty titles or? So, <laughs> I- I've just been doing the basic, uh, you know, this is how many days I've been streaming since it's only like up to seven now or six or something like that. Um, okay. And then, you know, what game I'm streaming and then 
come say hi. But I agree that the awful um, topics are uh, are uh, are good. I mean, it's like it's totally like the uh, <laughs> it's totally like the uh, you know doctors hate them kind of thing. Like people click that stuff. Yeah. You know, like you know, like the the, the crazy off the wall <laughs> clickbait topics Bad or experience. titles. Uh, I mean, they get hits for sure. They do. For reasons. Try to gangbang. You you know one thing that I tried out yesterday while I did that dreadful 22-hour stream um, was I was playing Rust, and I put Q&A, just question and answer, and a, I got a lot of people in because of that. It, like, I, didn't, I never put Q&A before, but, I mean, I've been playing Rust forever. So, like, I think I should... I thought, like, you know, maybe if I say I'll answer questions, people will come in. People came in. People want... I think it's... If the title has some indication that you're going to be interacting with the streamer at all, I think you're going to get a lot more viewers. Well, you have to ask. First, I would like to just get to know you. And then you go from there. That, that voice <laughs> box. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one thing that I have noticed, and I've got a few of them too, um, when I put giveaway in the channel, you get those one-hit wonders that we've been yeah. talking about, that we talked about yesterday, um, that only come in for giveaways. And yes... Like, giveaways are a great opportunity. You say I'm doing a giveaway, people flock in, and you're supposed to inspire them with your entertainment. You're supposed to wow them. You're the wow factor. But if you're not, then you're just going to give away money. So, I mean... You're right. There was an article, actually, about that, that you can't just have those, uh, those giveaways just randomly like that because you are just going to legitimately be throwing away money like there's no tomorrow. So you have to be able to set more of a goal and a longevity for it so that, okay, you have X amount of people watching the stream right now at X amount of people. That's why I'm going to go ahead and do something. Uh, the, the follows, same thing. If you get to X amount of followers, got, that's when you can do the said uh, giveaway. But there's these weird stipulations with giveaways right now where uh, it borderlines uh, gambling law. Because if yeah. you only have the giveaways to just your followers compared to the people who are actually viewing, you're cutting them out. No. But, yeah. I actually saw that article too, and because I did, what you were about to say was that um, if you say followers or subs get more, then it's still encouraging gambling, right? It's it's considered a form of gambling. Yeah. yeah. Same. Now yeah. here's our here's our best advantage to that. Those rules mostly apply to partners because they're direct staff of Twitch. For us, uh, they're a little bit more lenient. And I, because I used to do a give, I did a lot of giveaways because I was a giveaway whore, and. I mean, I had a few people that would come in just for giveaways. I've had people come back into my channel, and this one ticks me off. Hey, are you doing a giveaway yet? And I was like, seriously? Uh. <laughs> like, come on, that, that's rude. So I started doing something called DeepBot. And DeepBot tracks how long you've been in the channel, whether you're a follower, and as you are in here, you get coins. And you use those coins for giveaways. So it rewards people that actually watch the channels of just stopping by and saying, hey, am I going to get something free? But like you said, I don't know if that's going to be considered gambling or what. It, it's weird. I'm here it for really the giveaway. It, <laughs> mostly, you have to watch out when people start paying for things, but there are weird ways of getting around that. One of the ways to get a, um, kind of like a raffle, you don't purchase tickets. You do it via time. I had this worked out a little bit better earlier. Not today, Another uh, an earlier time. But there is a way around it, but it's just really weird. Okay. Um, so one thing that I've experienced, I'm sure everyone here has experienced as a new streamer, is a dead chat. Just yep. like completely dead. You don't know what to do. do you, has anyone has had that happen? How do you get the chat stirring? And most importantly, how do you avoid that awkward silence that no one's in your chat? Do you just talk to yourself? Or how do you guys handle that? That's exactly what I do. Like, the last, like, last night, I didn't stream for very long, but while it was on, it was literally myself playing the game and my wife uh, watching as a moderator. And I just talked to myself, like, okay, now I'm going to go over here and do this thing because this guy told me to do it. And now uh, I'm advancing the story and I have to go do this thing to cure myself of this disease and blah, blah, blah. And I just talked to myself. And, uh, Every now and then, someone will pop in, and I'm still talking to myself, and then a question will pop up, and then another question will pop up, and then just it 
I think if you can get into the habit,